What is going on everybody? It's your boy Meow here bringing you episode 3 of Going Over Everything in Destiny Alpha. In this episode we'll be going over the Crucible, Crucible Marks, and the Vanguard Marks. Um, the footage you'll be watching in the background is my first ever Crucible game. I did surprisingly well, um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So to talk about the Crucible in general, um, in my opinion it's very very fun and very entertaining. Um, way more fun than Call of Duty Online or Battlefield Online. There's so much to do. It's like very, very fun combat. It is a little unbalanced in the Destiny Alpha, I'm going to be honest. Shotguns can face roll you. And some abilities, like the Hunter's ability, are way better than, like, say, the Titan's ability on Online. Because you have more range and more time to do stuff. Um, what else was I going to say? Also, the maps are very fun to just do double jump around and see where people are. The spawns. They're pretty weird, but they're not, like, disgusting. They're not like, why the hell would he spawn here? It's more like, oh, wow, he spawned there. That's weird. <laughs> kind of deal. Um, so, yeah, overall, very enjoyable experience. Like, once I'm done with the... When the game comes out, once I'm done with the campaign, I'm just going to be playing Crucible. Honestly, it's it's like playing COD. It's so fun. Even though COD isn't fun, but I'm just saying the online experience is as in-depth and, like, full... um, Just, like, full through throughout as COD. Personally, my favorite part about this game, and the, probably the reason I'm going to be playing it for so long, because it's just it adds so much replayability value to it, is the Crucible and the Vanguard Marks. Um, the Vanguard Marks you get from completing bounties, which will give you like five Vanguard Marks or something, and then I'll give you some Vanguard experience. And what that allows you to do is with like maybe a hundred Vanguard Marks, and if you're like level two in the Vanguard um, level or whatever, you'll be able to buy legendary gear, and it's really cool. I think it's a great system. Um, but the ones I'm going to be going for are the Crucible Marks. You get, you can get Crucible Marks a lot easier, and you get Crucible Rank as well, just from um, completing bounties, I think. And, yeah, you can also buy Legendary Gear with that, and it's just such a great system. Definitely lots of replay, but replay ability value in there. I think I said that right. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, yeah, now I remember. And, um, what's it called? Like, you... You, when you uh, explore Destiny, you get these things called... I can't remember what they're called, it was so long ago. You can you can collect them from plants and it's like some, some type of metal or something. And you can actually exchange that for Vanguard um, Vanguard marks or Crucible marks and experience. You get a lot of experience. Um, like, for doing a side mission, you get around 375 experience. When you hand in 20 of these... Oh, I think it's Shape Metal. Shape Metal leaves or whatever. When you hand in 20 of it, you get 3,750 experience, which is crazy. So that's definitely like a huge bonus. And you also get Vanguard marks and Vanguard experience. So I just love, I love how in depth they made this game. Even just for the alpha, it was just so there was so much to do. Like I wish the alpha was like two weeks long because because I didn't have enough time to do everything, and that was just like barely a smidge of the game. So yeah, I, I can't wait for this thing to come. It's gonna be great. All right, I want to thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more Destiny content, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.